Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Highway to Hell. This is episode 21, I believe, and I just this week was like so excited because I caught up on all the Ghost Rider reviews. I was like, you know what? We want to I want to go through the Danny Ketch collection from the 90s. I want to get those last like three or four videos made. And then obviously we had Mother of Demons, and then we had the Heart of Darkness 2 storyline from issues five, six, and seven. And then after I get all those videos uploaded, as actually I think as my review of uh, issues five, six, and seven were uploading to YouTube while I was at work, because as you guys know, I had to work all weekend, so I just scheduled everything to go up. Um, and I think it was the same day that that review was going up for issues five, six, and seven that Ed Breeson came out on Twitter and said, hey, for those who haven't heard, our Ghost Rider series is canceled, uh, which sucks so much. Uh, you know, I know how Allie felt when Scream was announced that it was canceled. And then now we have, I think, Amazing Mary Jane, which is a book that I just started reading and was getting into. I read the first trade and I really liked it. Same with Black Cat. I kind of was digging Black Cat as well. And I wanted to do, and I still am going to do like a week of women from the Sony Marvel Universe kind of thing. We're going to do that and do like a week of uh, uh, comic reviews, uh, you know, coming up probably I don't know. It'll, well, I'll probably wait till next season now, now that the stories are wrapping up and they're ending a lot of these books and Marvel's canceling a lot of stuff. Maybe I'll just wait to see what all else gets canceled and then we'll just do, you know, reviews later on when all the books are done. So, um, so with this one, like this really hurt because as far as I know, the sales were pretty good on this book. I don't know how well though, to be fair. And I don't think how well matters really when it comes to what's happening in the world with COVID and everything like that. Um, this book did get a massive delay. I think issue seven was originally supposed to be scheduled to come out in April. It didn't come out till I think July, um, you know, or recently, a couple weeks ago. And uh, and that's, I mean, it, you know, no one asked for this situation. And I know that Ed Breeson, Aaron Cooter, um, uh, Juan Frigari, and everyone who worked on this new series you know, put their heart and soul into it and it literally, and because, and no pun intended really, but, uh, but they literally did because as a fan of Danny Ketch, I've seen him come back in other books. You know, they brought him back like when, uh, I think it was when Jason Aaron was writing Ghost Rider or something. And we'll talk about that in an upcoming episode. But, um, there was a couple times where like Danny, where it was like, Oh, are we going to get him back permanently? Or he's coming back, but he's going to be like a blue Ghost Rider. And it's like, what, you know, now he's the spirit of corruption. I just felt like Ed, Although I thought Jason Aaron did a good job too in War for Heaven and all that stuff. But here I thought Ed really took, it seemed like he took a liking to Danny Ketch. Um, and I think he was really trying to play off of what was set up before, that addict storyline where, where Danny was kind of like um, almost addicted to the power in a way. But then now he's addicted to booze. He was like replacing one addiction for another. And the way he brought him back in Marvel Comics Presents, it was it was neat. It was so exciting to see Danny back on the streets and as Ghost Rider because, you know, the only reason Danny left was because the series got canceled in the 90s, which we talked about. Uh, then they were able to bring back, you know, um, Ivan Velez Jr. and and, uh, and Mark Texieri and Sotaris, uh, Javier Sotaris, and they came back and did the finale, you know, issue 94, the book they never got to do before, the giant size issue, and they got to wrap up kind of their Danny Ketch story. And then Howard Mackey did like an amazing, or a Peter Parker Spider-Man issue or something where he got to say his last thoughts on, on Danny as well. And so then the movie came out and because the movies were Johnny Blaze with Nick Cage playing him, they just, out of nowhere, Devin Grayson, I think, came in and did a Marvel Knights miniseries. Then Garth Ennis came in and did a couple series with Clayton Crane. And then it was the Johnny Blaze show for many years. And, uh, and I was bummed by that. So when Danny came back as a blue ghostwriter, I was like, I'll take whatever I can get. And then he went away again. And then he'd pop up here and there, but they would never say if it was really Danny. They were just like, oh, there's a Ghost Rider standing here. And they're like, is it Danny? Like, is, which one is it? It looks kind of like Danny. Um, so it was nice to get him back. And so, uh, so I'm just bummed, you know, I'm just really bummed that this series is ending because I thought, like I said, everyone put their heart into it and put their soul into it. And they gave Danny a purpose again. And I, I although there was a, a little bit too, uh, too much at times, like where it felt like Danny was at the bottom, um, I felt like, even when he was working his way to the top, it, it you know it just felt like more torture in a way. It's like oh, let's bring him to limbo and make him the spirit of corruption. But still, I was intrigued enough to stick with it. I'm like, you know what? I still feel like at the end of the day, in these little character moments with you know Dan and uh, and Stacy and uh, you know and then obviously Emma, his you know bartender lady that works for him, his friend, like there was there was humanity there. That there was a okay. There's a guy who's struggling, but he's got a support system that's trying to support him. 
uh, you know, d despite his efforts of pushing them away. And then with all the supernatural stuff they added in and the story of Johnny, like I'm not a big Johnny Blaze fan, to be honest with you. I, I never was. I grew up with Danny and this few Johnny Blaze stuff I've read, I have really never liked him as Ghost Rider um, because I still, at the end of the day, I think it's stupid that he made a deal with the devil. I think that's just the dumbest thing. And Danny Ketch worked its way around that with having the amulet and the, the bloodline and stuff and uh, Zarathos. And I was like, oh, okay, these are... This is a different approach to Ghost Rider and it, where Danny didn't make essentially a stupid decision uh, the way Johnny did. Because it's like, come on, like you're going to sell your soul to the devil. And then Peter Parker makes a similar deal uh, where he like, you know, gives up his unborn child and his love for Mary Jane or whatever, or like their marriage. It's just so dumb. Uh, it's so dumb. Sometimes these characters are so stupid. So when they make stupid decisions like that, I pull away from them sometimes. Like even Spawn, which is funny, Spawn is one of my favorite comic characters and he made a deal with the devil. But at that point, that made sense. He died. He was in hell and he, the deal was, oh, I get to go back and see my wife. But obviously because it's the devil, he can't, he goes back and he doesn't, uh, you know, he can't interact with his wife because he's Spawn now, you know. So I like that. That was neat because it is dumb and they play on the fact that it was a dumb decision he made. And that's the whole point of the book is that everything he does is feeding Malbolgia and stuff. So to me, I think McFarlane did a good job with the that trope of making a deal with the devil and it not working out. Ghost Rider, it's like, oh, I made a deal with the devil, but Ghost Rider's yet strong enough to beat the devil. You're like, why would the devil give someone the power to beat him? I don't know. But then that's what Ed Breeson was doing. He was doing writing this Mephisto that really didn't want, it seems like on some level, maybe didn't want to be king of hell anymore because... He's not really, he has the power to maybe get back to hell, but he's not really trying too hard. And I kind of liked where that was going. And then you had Blackheart appear in, uh, you know, in Heart of Darkness Part 2, that he was going to now come take the throne. And Lilith wants the throne. And there's this um, multiverse of hells, you know, and these different stages of hells. And there was going to be a um, an annual coming up where they were going to bring back Vengeance, uh, which was cool because he got sent to hell. That was the last time we saw him. And we were going to get vengeance back which i was like super excited about so it's a bummer we had issues eight nine the annual and then an empire one shot all that were going to be Ghost Rider related all that were going to be written by ed breeson and then obviously he was setting up a potentially a big crossover event or a big event book where it was going to be the battle for humanities and, and their souls and stuff and you know i would have i would have liked to seen that play out and ed did come out and say on twitter that he's not going to say what his ideas are because he hopes one day he'll still get to tell those stories. And I hope he does one day. You know, honestly, if it's like a year or two down the line and he gets to come back and, and you know, pick up where he left off, that would be great. But right now he says, if we want to know the story of Danny and the spirit of corruption and that other stuff, it's going to probably play out in other Marvel books by other Marvel writers. And I'm not super excited about that because I, I felt like in the hands of Ed Breeson and his, you know, talented team of artists and editors and everyone who worked on this book, I felt like they were in good hands. Even if I wasn't loving every little thing they were doing, I still was like, yeah, but I feel like there's a real care for Danny here. And there's a focus on him as well as a focus on Johnny. And I love that balance. You know, it was really good. It was like the show Supernatural, which I always talk about that there's a, a cool comparison between these worlds. And even in some of the recent books, I think someone even has the, the you know, the sigil from Supernatural tattooed on them uh, appeared, I think, in a Jason Aaron Avengers book or something. So it's it's neat that they're aware of that kind of connection too but uh yeah so i you know i just this is a, a little bit longer video than i wanted to make and actually this video is not going to end with me talking i'm also going to cut over and we're going to do one last collections video at least for the danny catch stuff and i'm going to show some recent issues that danny was in ever since his return and we're going to go through the collection of issues that danny has been in since coming back to marvel so you know hang on after i get done talking we're going to do that real quick too and that'll be our final danny catch video but we still have a couple more highway to hell videos we're going to make um we're going to do a robbie reyes collection which is not a very big collection but i have some issues with robbie uh, reyes that you know that he's appeared in so we'll talk about that and i'll probably mention alejandra in that issue i own her run but only in digital form so i don't have a physical version so maybe i'll throw a picture on screen or something in that episode uh, then I also have my Johnny Blaze collection, and then we'll talk about Ed Breeson's 2099 one shot, and we'll do a 2099 collection video, and that should wrap up around issue 25 or episode 25 of this show. So Highway to Hell for this season, we're going to call this season one. Um, this is the end of Highway to Hell, and then maybe in September or October 
we'll bring it back with season two and we'll do a different character that's hell related uh and we'll do 25 episodes of them and it's going to be about spawn uh so we are going to continue highway to hell but we're just going to talk about spawn and talk about some of my spawn collection and and uh, and do some spawn reviews and stuff so uh since there's more issues of spawn i guess uh to to an extent than ghost rider uh we'll probably just pick a couple and just do like 25 random reviews and that's probably what i'll do we'll probably show off some of the collection but mainly we'll just do that and that way we can talk about the character we'll talk about the animated series and, and the movie maybe too um and i don't know maybe we'll do a special episode to talk about the movies here as well we'll see if we land on issue or episode 25 you know maybe that'll be the you know i'll talk about both movies or something like that so i don't know we'll figure it out but uh but yeah this this show will end now for season one at least but i want to keep highway to hell around i want to keep that great theme song that our friend santa destroyer made for us so we'll bring that back for season two with spawn and we'll talk about spawn so um but to ed breeson to everyone who worked on uh ghost rider you know, thank you guys. Like, you know, it, it sucks that the book ended. I understand on some level why, although I don't agree with it, obviously. But, um, you know, I understand the, the, the weird situation we're in with COVID and with everything going on and businesses hurting, not just comic stores, but everything worldwide. And all I can hope for is that you guys all find work on something uh, so that you can, you know, survive as people and uh, and as creators and then maybe when the time is right a year from now if that's what it takes um or a little bit longer if that's what it takes i mean i waited years for danny to come back again and it was worth the wait and i think it will be again so hopefully you guys stay in comics you know keep doing great things and we'll definitely i'll be here to support you when you come back for sure so uh so yeah good luck out there you know and everyone who was enjoying this book i'm sorry to say that you know it, it's over but um but it was fun while it lasted and i'm curious to see where these characters pop up in other books you know i'll probably pick them up and talk about them at some point um but uh, at least for ghost rider and talking about ghost rider after we finish the season we're going to be done for a while and then maybe we'll just collect all those books and save them up for the return of ed breeson and his team here uh so to juan Figuera, you know to uh, aaron cooter to everyone who worked on this book editors you know letterers everyone who worked on this colorist thank you thanks for making a great book I really enjoyed it and I'm really sad to see it go. Um, and before we go here, like I said, we're going to cut over to my table and we're going to at least look at this run in its entirety since Ed Breeson brought back Danny Ketch and we'll start there and go up to issue seven. So here we go. And here we are with our collection of Danny Ketch now that, you know, his original series ended with 94. And I don't have the miniseries in print. It's called Addict. It was five issues. It's called Danny Ketch Ghost Rider. And I think the miniseries is called Addict. It was by Simon Spirier, I think is the, the writer's name. Um, I don't have those in physical form. I have them in, uh, in digital form. Um, and then I'm going to soon own them in a trade paperback very soon. So I don't have that here with me now. But that was the other Danny Ketch book in between his series ending and this one. So as we know, we got Marvel Comics Presents number six. And I was buying this issue. Like, And you guys probably remember the story. Um, I was going to one comic shop. I had this on my pull list. And then I think I screwed something up where I I canceled my pull list or I asked them to like, I said, yeah, like, you know, give it another week or so because I knew this was coming out. So I was like, yeah, let, you know, give it one more week and then cancel it. And I don't know if I was clear on that. So to be fair to the to person who canceled my run, I mean, my, my pull list, it's not on them. It was definitely on me. I probably worded it weird because uh, I remember going in that day. It was a day before work and I was stressed about something at work. So I was like, OK, you know, like uh, I so I probably misspoke. Who knows? I can't remember fully, but I remember not being able to get this at first. You know, I went in and I was like, hey, where's my copy of number six? They're like, oh, we canceled your pull list. And I'm like, ah, oh, crap. I was like, how, what did I say last week? Like, did I say canceled now or later? You know, so, so it was, you know, it's on me. It was, you know, I don't, I don't really, I wasn't mad at the guys at, um, at uh, the comic shop I was going to, but it led me to go to another comic store. And then, you know, I went back and forth and shopped at both shops. So it was actually good for, you know, multiple people <laughs> that this happened. And that new shop I went to, they actually held me one. It was my first day there. I went in. I said, hey, would you, if you find one, would you hold one for me? And they're like, no problem. I was a brand new customer. And they're like, yeah, dude, we'll take care of you. And it was awesome that they did that. So Marvel Comics presents number six. That's the first printing. Danny Ketch is back in the saddle. Um, then I also have the second printing as well. This was held for me at um, Golden Apple, actually. Golden Apple was like, hey, we found this second printing with this cool cover uh, from the interior art. Do you want it? And I was like, yes, I do. So yes, yeah, so we have Marvel Comics presents. That was when Danny officially came back. Now, this came out, around, I think, around the time, maybe right before or right after 
uh, the that you know the Marvel Comics presents issue, but this is Fantastic Four number one by Dan Slott. Now I am a big Fantastic Four fan. Some of you know that, some of you don't. Um, I have a great collection of Fantastic Four stuff uh, that is locked away in storage safely because it's very valuable. Um, but I wanted to pick up the new series and give it a shot. And little did I know that it was going to have a Ghost Rider appearance in it. But I still to this day don't know if it's actually Dan Ketch or not. I don't know if it's Dan in this issue. There's uh, three issues. The first three, it has all of these characters. See right there? There's a Ghost Rider. Um, they're in the book briefly. I think even Spider-Man asks him, like, hey, are you Danny? And there's like there's no response. <laughs> so uh, so technically this could be the the official return of Danny but before the uh, you know the actual issue of Marvel Comics Presents came out because um, these came out around the same time. So uh, so yeah. Anyway, but issues one, two, and three I have here, and this just has a thing where it's like a, a lot of mem anyone who's been a member of the Fantastic Four or their immediate family before all, you know, show up in these first three issues. Uh, and I love Sarah Pacelli's art, so I wanted to give the book a try. Now, granted, I ultimately didn't really enjoy the book too much, but I do have the latest issue of it, which is issue 20, and I think issue 21 or 22 or whatever issue comes out soon, is going to also have Danny in it, I think. So it might be our official last appearance of Danny because it looks like they're bringing back the, the new Fantastic Four, where it's Spider-Man, Wolverine, Hulk, and Ghost Rider. And you can see Ghost Rider on the cover there. Beautiful cover, too. Um, so, yeah, after issue three, I didn't read past this book. Uh, but I am picking up the latest issues because, like I said, it's crossing over with Empire. And it does uh, look like it has a Ghost Rider in it. And I'm hoping it's Danny. And if so, then it'll mirror. It's funny. That'll mirror the original 90s series. Remember when the original 90s series ended with issue 93? A couple months later, he showed up in a Spider-Man issue. So that'd be crazy if his main book ended with issue seven. And then like a month or two later, we get him appearing in a Fantastic Four book. Um, but, you know, and it's a Ghost Rider, though, so I don't know when. It's like, isn't he this? If it is Danny, he would be the spirit of corruption. So I don't know how it's going to go. So we'll, we'll pick up those issues and, and find out. Uh, maybe I'll do a Seek and Destroy episode review of them. Um, so anyway, we have Punisher here. I, and I didn't know about this, but, you know, until later, until like the third or fourth issue. But someone was like, dude, Danny Ketch is in this book. And he totally is in this book. He shows up as a drunk and uh, and Punisher beats him up and recruits him and, you know, carries him in his van. <laughs> and then says like, he's like, well, I can't do anything without my motorcycle. And Punisher's like, no worries, dude, I got you covered. And he pulls out Danny's motorcycle in the van as well. And so Danny becomes Ghost Rider and, and teams up with these other street level characters to go against, you know, the Kingpin and stuff. Um, there's also some other Johnny Blaze stories where uh, one in particular called Shadowland Ghost Rider, where uh, Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider meets Kingpin. I thought that was cool. Like, I always like when characters like Ghost Rider, you know, it's because he's been around for a while. So when he meets a character for the first time, you know, I don't think that was the first time he met Kingpin, but it was a it was a great one-on-one -on -one between the two of them which was fun um it's just neat to see characters like like anyone in the marvel universe interacting ghost rider i think that's my favorite character uh, the favorite thing about the character is that i like seeing other people like night thrasher and moon knight and stuff you know interacting with ghost rider i just think that's cool um so yeah so we have issues 15 and 16 there what a great cover uh this was actually a pretty decent punisher run to be honest with you rosenberg did a good job um, then obviously the, the kind of official second appearance released by Ed Breeson and Juan Forgary was the Absolute Carnage Symbiote of Vengeance one shot. And this actually is the death of Alejandra in this book. So she officially dies in this book, which is crazy that they, uh, they bring her back and then they kill her. Um, but I guess that was going to play into a bigger thing that Ed was going to do with the Ghost Riders in Hell. And it's a shame he never got the chance to do that. Um, or maybe he will one day. He does, you know, right now, obviously not. Um, so then we have Ghost Rider number one. We have uh, one cover. I think I have a couple different variants of this one. Normally I don't buy variants, but these were just so cool. Um, then you have Ghost Rider number one there. We have the all black cover. Hopefully I'll get a sketch on that one day. That'd be cool. Um, then we have the chain cover. It's a wraparound cover with the chain on it. Um, then I have number two variant cover by Clayton Crane. Amazing. Also a Ghost Rider artist. Uh, from the mid 2000s uh, and then here's the regular cover to number two and obviously we reviewed all these so if you want to hear my thoughts on all of them you know go check out my previous highway to hell episodes uh, there's a playlist for all my shows and so there's a highway to hell season one playlist 
and it goes through all these is uh, issues that we're talking about here. Incoming, remember there was just a couple pages in there that had Ghost Rider in it, so we it was like two pages, and it was Johnny Blaze. It wasn't even Danny Ketch. It was so disappointing. Um, but that those two pages do set up something that happens in issue three and four. So we got that, and then we got issue the Mother of Demons issue, which we just reviewed recently. Um, then we have I have two covers in number five. Uh, again, this was the last thing I got in in California before I moved. Was this issue five? Um, and so we got both covers because uh, House of Secrets was nice, nice enough to hold both for me. Uh, then we have Ghost Rider versus Stephen Strange on number six, and then versus the Spirit of Corruption on number seven. So there you go. So this is uh, another 20 minute or so episode. Um, but typically these are when, you know, I wanted to talk about the cancellation of the book and I wanted to, you know, go through what Ed Breeson had has done and where Danny has appeared since Ed Breeson brought him back. So that's where all these are so if you you know have now you have a checklist if you want to go out and find these uh, i think some of them are out in trade paperbacks now and i think there's even a trade paperback for issues five six and seven of Ghost Rider still scheduled to come out in september and maybe even might still have some of those one shots in them i don't know how marvel's going to print that so if that's the case if we get some new content in a trade paperback from ed breeson and these guys um i'll we'll do a review on it shoot i hope they put the annual in there that would be amazing if they still printed it for the trade so that way we still get the vengeance the return of vengeance uh that would be great but i don't know what's you know planned for that uh trade and i don't know how it's you know how it's going to come out if it'll come out whatever so you know keep your eyes open if i cover any more Ghost Rider stuff i'll do it on the seek and destroy show um after we wrap up this show but we still got some more collections coming up we'll do a johnny blaze episode next and then we'll do like a, a miscellaneous where we talk a little bit about alejandra we'll talk about the you know maybe a little bit about cosmic Ghost Rider and obviously Robbie Reyes, and then we'll end the show with some 2099 Ghost Rider stuff since I have that entire run. So thank you guys for watching the show. As always, I appreciate the support. Uh, those of you who do watch these Ghost Rider episodes, and thanks for, you know, getting into this collection with me. We got a little bit more to go, but Ed Brees and everyone else, again, thank you for your hard work. Uh, I really did enjoy your run, and hopefully it comes back in some new form at some point someday. So thank you guys for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in hell. Peace.